All right. <clears throat> it is not pleasantly warm outside, and I have an issue that I am trying to trying to fix, and I think I have an idea. But come on, lights. Give me lights. Okay. Turn on my headlight here. So. you back here. <coughs> I have a kitchen window that is not very well sealed and it gets cold in the winter and it's drafty and the kitchen does not have proper heat. Uh, there was a radiator in it originally but the radiator cracked and finding a replacement is not in the cards. Uh, so right now we have electric heat in the kitchen, which works. You know, it's probably not the most efficient in the world, but it will do what it does. So I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. That is the kitchen window, and it is not. It's not going to hold tape. Uh, we've already tried that. Uh, so what my plan is, erg, <clears throat> is I'm going to make a frame that goes around the outside and then one down the middle so it makes two panes. I'll make that out of wood. We'll put plastic on it and seal the plastic up nice and then I'm going to screw it to the wood. Oh, but won't that ruin your trim? Please, that trim is garbage. I would love to pay to get the windows replaced. Well, actually, I wouldn't love to pay to get the windows replaced. I would just love to have them replaced. Magically, and you know, like the window fairy come and do my windows for me. When they put this window in originally, or actually when they, when they remodeled the kitchen originally, it was way back before we bought the house. Um, they cut through the window frame on the inside and installed the counter above the frame. So the bottom of the window is lower than the actual, uh, I don't know, yeah, you can see it in there if you can see the top of the, uh, top of the counter backsplash is well above the bottom of the window. I hate it, but what I got. I need to figure out size of the window frames. All right, so outer edge across to outer edge, 73 and a half inches. It would be good if I had remembered to uh, you know, have paper and a sharpie to write this down. 72. 2.5 and let's see top to bottom oh you're a pain in the ass aren't you all right we'll go from up there We'll go with 86, 86 inches top to bottom, and let's go edge to middle. Thirty-six and three quarters. Totally makes sense. Now, part of this, I'm going to have to deal with. Um, it's going to sit on this. Cause it's not going to be screwed onto this. So the bottom of it, I'm going. Oh, wow, that's not good. That's just rotted out completely. Huh. Okay. Window sill's gone. All right. But uh, I'm going to have. 
um, the bottom of this fit on here so that it'll seal against the bottom. And hmm, I might actually do two risers on this. We'll see. Uh, let me see how wide this is. Six inches. And not five and a half. I guess these are four. Three and three quarter. And oh look, someone already set up my saw. I wonder who that could have been. <sighs> Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Good at me. I'm gonna get my headphones. Nice thing about this is they don't have to be exact. I've got quite a bit of wiggle room. All right, I'm going to do this left-handed, which is not ideal. Oh, really? I wasn't recording that whole time. That sucks. All right, well, I've got the holes drilled in the uh, cross pieces and then the uprights for mounting. Uh, I'm going to go get the screws for screwing them together. Oh no! Oh no! I have fallen! Oh no! Oh! Oh goodness! Oh! Oh goodness, I have wanted. Oh, I'm being attacked by dogs. <laughs> oh. Those are my glasses, baby. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So, I uh, managed to put these together and paint them, so uh, what I did is I put these on the ends of the up and down pieces so that they will be much easier to assemble in one piece. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be putting them together, or hopefully putting together the whole frame. Now one of the things I want to do is I want to drill mounting holes. I want to pre-drill mounting holes in these to make sure that they are uh, that they all have you know, good spacing on the holes so that I can screw them into the wood. And I'm going to do that by clamping them together. <coughs> At least I think that's how I'm going to do it. This wood is uh, not straight. Especially wood that you get at the hardware store or big box store. <clears throat> I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, screw off with a 
smaller pilot hole on one side, get it at the right places. And then I can break out this. That's the aircraft bit. This is a 3 sixteenths. That's uh, quite long. Makes it very handy for going through long distances of drilling. <clears throat> or if you're drilling something you can't quite get to. Um, like if you're like if you have to go through a wall or something like that. Those work really well. So for the top and bottom cross pieces, I'm going to drill holes on the outside edge of these that will match with the ones on the outside, you know, and just keep it pretty steady and then do the same thing halfway down and then halfway in between each one, just dividing each one in half until I get a decent distance in between them. Nice. Hello, Piper. Would you like to be in the way? You're very good at that. Yes. Keep going. Keep going, there you go. So, I have the bottom part, or the top part, I'm not sure which yet, uh, ready to go. Dogs want to go outside. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try and flip this over and assemble it from the other end, because I don't think I can do it sitting this way. Way too uncomfortable. And it is together. Now well, the frame is anyway. Still need to put the plastic and the dogs barking. Uh, still need to put. Still need to put the plastic on and the backing, the uh, weather weather stripping backing, so that this will sit nicely against the window. But I can wait for later. All right. I uh, managed to get one sheet of plastic on the window. I had to go with a different kind of plastic because uh, these are wider than the normal rolls. I put the double stick tape on. It's not holding really well. Um, I have a bad feeling that any wind that comes along that gets underneath here is going to uh, it's going to lift this up and just tear it off. So I'm going to try and tape these on more sturdily. Uh, but I also managed to cut this one short. So yeah, messed up. I'm going to have to fix that. But I'm going to try and get this other one done tonight so that I can get this ready to go and uh, screw on the windows hopefully tomorrow. I'm not going to try it tonight because I'm not going to have time. So I also uh, came up with a tip. If you're installing this on your own windows, you know, these are like the, the kits that you can buy in the store. Um, instead of trying to peel it from the end, you just take a knife, score it in an angle like that, and it's just super easy to peel after that. And there is something satisfying about it. Okay, it is put together. Um, what I have done is uh, used some large primate tape to uh, tape these together. I also did the edges and went around so that it goes all the way around. Um, and try to get, I did the top and the sides. I'm leaving the bottom for now. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do the bottom, partly because of uh, moisture buildup. You know, if there's any rain gets in there, I want it to be able to drain out. So I might not, uh, might not do those. And well, I'll probably tape them. Um, you know, like tape tape up this hole. I was thinking of putting plastic in, but honestly, the way that the kitchen is set up, 
nobody's going to see that. Uh, and this is not heat shrink plastic, unfortunately, so I can't really do anything that will make it a little more structurally strong, but at least it should be good enough to hold up for you know, a couple of winters. I hope. We will see. Um, I've got to put weather stripping on the back, which I will probably, I don't know if I'll do that tonight yet. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so because it is night and I have lights, I have set these up so that I can actually see what I'm doing, I think. At least I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to have to set up the camera on the on the uh, tripod or the mount thing so that we can get or so that I can get shooting because I'm going to have to use both hands uh, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get a first person view. I might see if I can figure something out but I'm going to try and get this up tonight. Well, the good news is it's mounted. Bad news is my measurements were a little off. <sighs> okay. Well, the camera died. I think it just got too cold. So I'm gonna bring it inside and then let everything warm up and hopefully warm up myself. Oh, that's a that's a lot bigger than uh, it needed to be. <laughs> Guess I got my measurements wrong. Oh well, about in the middle here, yeah, good enough. <laughs> 